You've now cleared Area 1, congratulations! Here, you should have these Poke Tube coupons, take them. I'm sure that you can win your way through higher areas. Keep working at it! Hey, it actually gives me a little counter this time, so I know how many I have. 200. I'm gonna go on to Area 2. Like I said, I have more goals that I want to reach as far as leveling up's concerned, and this place was pretty much a breeze. Whoa, he just teleported us up here, huh? Congratulations, you've cleared Area 1. You're completing this area of the time. Please accept this gift. A macho brace. Really? A macho brace? Macho, macho brace. I'm not really concerned about using the macho brace. Like, good item for serious training, but for this type of game, nah, I don't really care. Alrighty, we're just going to move on to Area 2 here. Area 2 begins here. Yeah, it's still like spring training in baseball. Anyway, go Cyndaquil! Please tell me you have more than just Cyndaquil. Is that really your only Pokemon? Yep. It's just a Cyndaquil. I mean, Cyndaquil's great and all, but... I've got two Pokemon. You're already at a disadvantage, even if one of them is Bug-type. Hey, I can still fight. I know, I know. Why don't you show him your... Psycho Beam? As for you, you know what? It's going to be weak against grounds, and you can use Dig. All right, Rainbow Blast! Uh, Ember. Yeah, that might hurt. Wait a minute, you're a special defense wall. It actually probably won't hurt that badly. Even if though it's super effective, I'm still kicking. All right, why don't you try using Supersonic so that maybe it won't hit you next time? Now nope, it missed. What? How is that possible? I never miss. Well, you just you just missed, Xavier. Now, get him, Ridley. All right, right from the underground. All right. Well, that takes care of that guy. I probably didn't even need to do that. I could just use bites instead, and would have killed it. What ifs? It's over. It's all over. Yeah. All right. Guess I'm keeping these two up for now. I might just keep Ladybug in the part, like in the front lines until. Ah, oh, one Cyndaquil's not good enough for a battle. Yeah, I might just keep Ladybug out until it's like level 18. Area two's only started. You better keep on your toes. All right. Uh, who's next? Yeah, these are much more like Pokemon Coliseum style characters. In battle, it's very important to get a read on how things will unfold. Okay. Chaser Sidlor would like to battle? Sidlor. A whooper and a Natu. I do I actually I really like how much second gen they implement here because there wasn't a lot of second gen at the time. It was during third gen time where we had, you know, the third gen stuff, and then we had um, the first gen remakes, you know, Fire Red and Leaf Green. So there actually wasn't um, a whole lot of um, uh, second gen stuff around. If you wanted second gen stuff, your biggest source of it was actually Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD. So, that was kind of cool, actually. I mean, on one hand, I, I just kind of wish there was more second gen stuff in general. I mean, the only place where you could get a lot of second gen Pokemon was on the Sevi Islands. But, yeah, you know, whatevs. Alright, I'm gonna bite that bird! Alright, that takes care of not to not to dash your hopes and dreams, but your Pokemon fainted. <laughs> uh, is Ridley 16 yet? No. Ridley takes a while to level up. Alright, it's... You're not even gonna get a chance, Ridley. I'm finishing this whooper off with my Psycho Beam. Alright, and takes care of Whooper. What kind of a name is Whooper, anyway? Whooper. Whooper. Alright. I didn't foresee you winning at all. Really? Because, I mean, I didn't even go to two of my Pokemon, and I have six. I need to train much, much more. I want to become a trainer in tougher areas than this one. Yeah, well, yeah you'll, you'll have to train. Oh, big Sailor Man. Okay, your Pokemon can't get away now. Alrighty. Uh, what do you got? Sailor Gra Gratin. Sailor Gratin. What do you got? What do you got? Shuckle and why not? I actually, I really like Shuckles. Like... They are just the ultimate defense Pokemon. It's really fun. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's take care of Why Not first, I guess. Maybe what I'll do is I'll Supersonic Shuckle and I'll bite Why Not. Why not do a Pokemon battle? Why not 
fight the boss name, Snaddle. He's the second boss of this game. Not the area leader, like one of the actual like cipher bosses. All right, please don't tell me you're using counter. I don't think you even learn counter until you evolve into a lot of that, so. Should matter. Oh no, you made Xavier's attack fall. Oh dang, what am I gonna do? <laughs> well, he definitely did withdraw. That is that is what that animation was. Okay. There we go. This guy's actually got some pretty good defensive Pokemon here. Why not Shuckle? Yeah. Bam! Oh my gosh, this Shuckle's gonna take forever to take down. Oh well, we'll do it eventually anyway. Yes. It'll just take a few more attacks than expected. And maybe he would help if he hit himself for once in a while. That is one reason I used a uh, supersonic in him. Uh, I'm gonna go for the dig. Here we go, Simeem! Boyum. Dig is a really great move to use against NPCs. Any, you know, human Pokemon trainer would just swap out with a flying type or something, but these guys don't even have flying types half the time, and, uh... Also, you can, like, they probably won't do anything to try to escape. I don't think that Dig's going to be super effective, because I think the bug type in it makes it not very effective, so it's just going to be neutral damage, but I just need to do whatever it takes to take this Shuckle down. Shuckle, Shuckle, Shuckle. Dig. Buy him. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't even do it. I might as well. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try using Poison Fangs and see if I can get Poison into help. Constrict. Who are you constricting? Wait, does this Shuckle seriously have Wrap and Constrict in its moveset? Ugh. This is what battles with Shuckles are like. It really is more than anything. It's like fighting a turtle. Alright. More than any other turtle. What What is Shuckle anyway? Is he a turtle? I always thought of him as a turtle. Or like a worm turtle? A worm worm dole? I don't know. Poison thing. Rawr. It's not very effective. I know, but I might poison it. Now that a confusion. Whatever, I might as well just use um, Psybeam and Bite at this point. Ugh. Why do Shuckles take so long to kill? They are really resilient. Uh, there we go. Alright, time to finish him off with a bite! Ow. Oh, hey, that was a pretty good bite. Good job, Ridley. Thanks, Peter. Alright, cool. Ridley 16. Now he can drive a car. Wait a minute. Dogs can't drive cars. Is that like one of those movies like what cats don't dance, dogs don't drive cars? I let the wind get away. Alright. The natural village of Pokemon should be used to your advantage in battle. Don't forget about them. Like your Shuckles defense. I did not mean to use my PDA, but okay. Oh wow, I got thirteen thousand dollars. That's a lot. Um, we'll just keep at it for now. Da, da, ba, 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 ba. Hey, scientist. Want to get started? C-Dot, Ladybug, come on out. Ooh, we got an honor battle. Right, when you got two of the same species of Pokemon against each other, that's an honor battle. All right, here we go. C-Dot and Ladybug. All right, go Xavier and Ridley. All right. Finally, a rival for me! Alright. So, Ridley, you are not to interfere. This is a ladybug battle. So, why don't you just, I don't know, poison up that sea dot? Alright. Here we go. I'll show you who's a true master of the skies. Ah, you almost took it on one hit, too. Good job. You are destroying this honor battle. Alright, let's get rid of that sea dot. I don't know if that'll kill it, but it was a good hit. Alright. Tackle. You better hit the Ladybug, otherwise you are ruining the integrity of this honor battle. Good. Good, 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 good. The only time you'll ever say good when one of your Pokemon gets hit. I don't know, unless you're using, like, Counter or Mirror Code or some shit like that. Alright, uh... Finish it off with a Psycho Beam. Alright, here's my Rainbow Attack. Yeah, actually, if it wasn't for the Aerial Ace and the Psy Beam, Ladybug would not learn any good attacks. And the only reason it knows those two is because... You know, the Shadow Bug learn like, special moves. Alright, Poison Fang! Rawr! I always like the Shadow Bug for that reason, too, is when you do unshadow them, they have some really cool moves. 
like, oh my gosh, the Lugia in this game. I mean, I don't think I'm spoiling anything there. You get a Lugia in the end of this game. It's got, like, Hydro Pump and Earthquake and Feather Dance and Psycho Boost. Like, Jesus. It's awesome. Well, I guess I'll be waiting for the next challenge, eh? Huh? Yep. We're going to be waiting here for a while, I'd imagine. How are you two doing on your Shadow Meters? I mean, I haven't fought with you yet, but you, I'm, I'm carrying you. I wonder who I'll get to name those two after. We'll have to see. Fifteen. Don't make an ugly scene when you lose, okay? Alright, are you going to if you you lose? Hunter Goling. Totodile and Feebass. I mean, this guy's a water trainer. I would never have guessed by his attire. Something tells me that Feebass is not going to be a threat at all, but that's just a hunch. Maybe it is like the most powerful Feebass ever. Um, it is level 14. It is a high level Feebass. Oh no, not Splash! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Feebass' Splash animation before. <laughs> it's no magic card, but damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> Bite! And it takes care of, you know, anything that could have actually been a threat on your team. Actually, I think he's got one more Pokemon. Oh, well. We'll just destroy whatever that is. Oh, it's a Snubble. Snubble, blah, 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 blah. Not Snubble and Jigglypuff and Clefairy. Those were just so weird when they became Fairy-type. Because they all used to be weak to fighting. And then, suddenly, they, like, suddenly... Like, fighting's not very effective against them because they're fairy-type. Like, how does that work logically in the Pokemon world? Like, all these years, fighting is good against these Pokemon, and then suddenly, like, scientists are like, Wait, no, it's a fairy-type, so fighting moves just are actually aren't very good. So what, were people mistaken? Or maybe every fighting move that ever landed on them was, like, a critical hit? Or, like, maybe as soon as scientists in Pokemon worlds classify things, it alters the reality. I don't know, but it makes no logical sense. Not that it needs to, it's just a video game. It doesn't really need logical sense, it's just, it's still annoying. Like, it just wires into you, oh yeah, Clefairy, use a fighting attack, and now that is not the case. That takes care of Snubble, Snubble, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hey, Xavier's 17, but even so, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep him in the, in the front for now, so that we can get him to being a lady in as soon as possible. Bite, Ridley! Oh, wow. This Feebass is pretty defensive. He is not so feeble, after all. Splash, except for, like, apparently all it knows is Splash. Shouldn't it have Tackle at this point, or is that not to level 15? Is this actually just a Splash-only Feebus? That'd be pretty funny. Okay. Let's finish it off. Alright, time to eat some fish! Ah! All right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Like when it's dying. That's what it, his mouth looked like. No, no, no. I'm going down. Oh, how infuriating. It makes me want to flail about. <laughs> okay. I don't even remember. I wasn't paying attention because I was talking. I didn't see who his third Pokemon was, but I killed it. You should be stumbling around here anyway. Keep it going, all right? All right. Uh, okay. What do we got here now? I adore cute and strong Pokemon. Okay, so you're gonna have Pokemon that are both cute and strong. Chaser Joel. Joel. Mareep and Torchic. Those are pretty good definitions of that, honestly. Yeah. I can see that, that as being your definition of Pokemon that are cute and strong. What should we go after first? I'm gonna say Torchic, just so that we don't have to worry about getting paralyzed from attacking Mareep yet. Um, so, there we go. The Torchic is not a fighting type yet, so Bite will be just fine. Bam. Alright, now bite it! Bite it, Ridley! Ah! Hooray! Focus energy. So, great. Your critical hits that you're never gonna land are way better. And a tackle. I wonder when Armor Reap is going to learn an electric attack, because, I mean, that would be nice, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, I haven't even used Armor Reap yet. Which is not named yet, it is just Marie. Hmm. <sighs> 
Oh, I woke up earlier than I thought I would. I mean, I normally wake up somewhere between 5.30 and 6 or 6.30. And I woke up at 7 today, but I mean, that's because we stayed up so late. So, I thought I'd sleep a little more. I'm still a little tired, but I'm awake. So, this is what I'm doing. Alright, let's finish this off. Uh, oh, you know, I guess I could use Dig. I guess I... Yeah, you know, I probably don't need to anyway, though. What's the point? Bam! One more hit. One more hit. By a Marine. And it's down like shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, paralyzed. Not that it matters. Not that it matters. Not that it matters in this case. Uh, trying to decide if I want to go one more or call it off here. Oh, but you know, you you have invested my Pokemon in terms of cuteness. Okay, if you say so, lady. I'm not going to waver from my devotion to cute and strong Pokemon. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and cut off here. We'll finish off this area next time, and I think we'll do area three also. See you then.